Hello and welcome to the latest video blog for heavyhops.com. Uh, you've joined me this evening again in Paris uh, and tonight it is my last beer before Lent. As you can see for the occasion I have, uh, I have decided to wear my tactical nuclear penguin t-shirt uh, which I proudly wear around Paris. Um, as I say I have decided for one bizarre reason or another to give up beer for Lent this year. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not promising anything, okay? Um, so I decided to have a special beer uh, for my last beer. So it's this. It is um, relatively hard to get a hold of here. Some people wouldn't say it was that special, but I think it is. I think it's a good beer to finish off with. Um, it's the uh, Nogna, uh, which I'm trying to pronounce without laughing, because it, it's just not a word that non-Scandinavian people are supposed to say. Um, but it's the pale ale that they make. I'm not going to say the name of the brewer again, you can look it up. Um, so, here we go. Uh, let's crack this open. This is actually the first beer I've had of theirs that hasn't been a collaboration with someone else. Uh, and I've made a right cock up of opening that, so we might have to breed take. Hello and welcome to the latest video blog for heavyhops.com. This is my last beer before I give up beer for Lent. Um, I have been railroaded into this. Um, it might happen, it might not, we'll see. I might give you a video uh, blog update if it doesn't succeed. But the, the, the plan is that I'm giving up beer for Lent this year. So I decided that I was going to have uh, one last final uh, good beer. Um, I'm saving a bottle of Westville Terran 12 for my first beer after Lent, but I thought I would uh, round off with Nogna Pale Ale. Uh, I realise I'm pronouncing that like someone who's not Scandinavian. I realise, I apologise for my pronunciation, but, um, and for that I won't mention the name of the brewery again. Um, so, this Pale Ale rates in at... Uh, what strength is this? This is 6%. This is the first time I've had a Nugna um, beer that's not been a collaboration beer um, with someone else. So let's give this a bash. Um, I've purposely not read any tasting notes about this. I uh, don't know, I don't even know the hops that are used in this. I didn't even look that up. How unprofessional. Um, oh, that smells beautiful. Um, so as you can see, it's a lovely colour. I don't know whether this is filtered or not. It is slightly hazy. I don't think I don't actually think no no filtered their beers at all. Um, and if it isn't, then that's spectacularly clear. Wow, that wow, hoppy hoppy hoppy, love it. Uh, this is possibly the best beer I could have had, or one of the best styles of beer certainly I could have had. It's my last beer before Lent. Um, so let's give this a bash. Loads of spicy, herby hops, kind of not really tropical, not really getting an awful lot of fruit, more kind of, ag not aggressive, but kind of dirtier um, hops in there. Fantastic smell though. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. So lovely and round, good, decent hop hit, but in absolutely no way unbalanced. Absolutely 100% balanced with the sweetness, with the hops. I think I may have hit a winner there. I think that's probably a good beer to uh, to round off uh, to round off with. I think that's a good beer to to have as my last beer before Lent. Um, as I say, I will keep you up to date with how Lent goes. I can't say I'm looking forward to it, um, but it's probably a good thing. It'll give me some time away from beer to think about what I want to do with this blog, what, what my goals, what my ambitions are with it. I realise I've not been posting enough to it. Um, I've been extremely, extremely busy since I moved to Paris, but I promise, I promise that's going to change after Lent. Um, if you haven't tried this beer, please get a hold of it. It's one of the most round sort of pale ale styles, um, pale ale of, of its genre that I've tried. Fantastic, fantastic beer. So that is uh, Nogno Pale Ale, 6%. Thanks for watching uh, heavyhops.com. Uh, cheers, see you soon.
www.ghostbusters.com. Uh, thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, I am about to open my last beer before Lent. I hope. It might not work out all that well. So we're saying this is the last beer before Lent. Not sure it will be. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to say. Bollocks. Tits. I've got a habit of doing this. <laughs> okay, try again. Hello and welcome to the latest video blog for heavyhops.com. Uh, this is the last beer before Lent. Um, I say that, I'm trying to give up beer for 40 days and 40 nights, um, or however long it is, I don't even know to be honest. Uh, <coughs> oh Christ! <coughs> See, that's God spiting me for giving up beer. <coughs> Try that again for a second time. <coughs> <coughs>